Hey guys, it's um, Cartridge Tutor again. I haven't made a video in a while, probably like uh, a couple weeks, but I've been doing a lot of college stuff because I'm a junior and yeah, that's what you got to do when you're a junior. But I didn't really explain my Gravekeeper deck and I took it to locals and completely annihilated everybody. Like, it's just, it's broken. Everybody kept, everybody hates Gravekeepers for the reason being of the... Um, Royal Tributes, the Stells, um, YCS, okay, I have to talk about this, Sean, whatever his last name, you guys can correct me, he won, and I saw his deck list, he won with Upstart Goblin, so people can get off my back about not running Pot of Dualities in this deck anymore, um, let's see here, yeah, the only really bad weakness to this deck is Stardust Dragon, but you can overcome that really easily with the cards that you run. But anyway, um, to start it off, you got Triple Descendant. Alright. He's a great card. You Tribute 1, pop a card. Kind of like sh Scrap Dragon. Um, yeah, he has 2,000 beater, beat stick on the, f on the field with Necro Valley, 15 without. So, yeah, like, he's a great card. I only have one rare. I'm trying to get two more. But, yeah, it'll be, he's a great card. He's not going to be hitting the ban list anytime soon. Um, yeah, because he's just not as broken. Alright, Triple Recruiter. This is like your... Let's go... We're going to compare this to like a human body. He is your lungs. They keep you to breathe, out, to keep it going, okay? So he's your lungs that'll like, you know, do stuff. Oh, and he is your arms and legs to like punch people and kick people. But he pretty much just, when he's sent to the graveyard, you just search out another one. So... Quite explainable. Very simple. Very simple. This is your heart of the deck. Three spy. This actually makes it go faster in your deck, so you can actually win games and all that. And um, yeah, it's just really good um, because if you don't have this card in your deck, uh, I don't think you can even run grave keepers. Yeah, if you can run three guards. And that's not even gonna do anything. Just pop a card back. Um, let's see what else. Three commandant, you know, it's just a terraforming monster, and plus gets past consecrated, gets past quite a few things, but it works. All right, this card is quite debatable for some, for locals and/or regionals and/or whatever you guys go to. Um, if your friend only runs cast plants, then you're gonna run two assailants. But my, my locals, which is up in, like. It's called Waltz Cards, I think. Yeah, I've gone to uh, Rockville a couple of times, but um, yeah, everybody done. Everybody, a couple of people run Chaos Plants, so I would side it. Um, I'll side another one, but right now it's just one's good for now. So you only have a 13 card line, 13 monster lineup, and you don't want too many because of Royal Tribute. So yeah, uh, Triple Necro Valley, YCS, um, the top eight, I think. He ran two Necro Valleys. I mean, with Dust Tornadoes and MSTs going around, I'm, in my opinion, you got to run three, unless you want to lose games. Just in my opinion. Um, double Royal Tribute, because it completely wrecks them. Wrecks them because if you open up this hand with a Necro Valley or Slash Commandant, with a Spy... Um, get an upstart, upstart goblin or a pot of duet in your hand, and it's just so broken the way you can do stuff with this card. First turn, open hand, you can just wreck people. Yeah. Double stale. This card literally is the best top deck card I've ever seen in my life. I really needed it one time, and I was just trying to... <coughs> Sorry. Um, this was the card I needed. And I had about this many cards left. I um, about like 30 cards left. I had about 30 cards left. And I was hoping for that stale. And everybody's like, you won't top deck it. But I top deck it and I was like, boom. And I completely annihilated him. Because I had no more monsters left. And all I needed was one more attack off of him. He's running um, Twilight. Um, triple Upstar Goblin. Yeah. Thank you for Sean Coover. I think his name's last name's Coover. I'm not sure. Um, but
but he ran up starts and I thought I think it's very nice, amazing that he run, ran up starts. One alert for your uh, last draw power card. Wish it was at two, but whatever, no big deal. Double MST. Um, why not? You have to. It's a great card. Dark hole. Book. Oh man, book again. You just gotta book it, boom, with spy. Uh, one smashing. It just gets over big beat sticks that you can't take over sometimes, or it's just against Consecrate or something. Who knows? Alright, I made a couple changes to this deck. Double seven tools. I'm not running the solemn wounds because I'm not rich and I don't have a job yet. But once I get the job, you're going to be seeing me running maybe a duality, maybe one or two dualities. You're going to see me running Solemn Warnings, Solemn Judgment, and all that good stuff. But 7 Tools is what I'm running so far. And even with the 7 Tools right now, I'm winning duels. I mostly top 4, I usually... With this Grey Fever deck, I usually win now. So it's pretty straight. Double D Prison. Um, I did listen to the kid in one of my comments in my other videos. So he's pretty cool. And these Double 7 Tools are actually working. But I'm not definitely, I'm definitely not going to tech a Spirit Reaper. Tech means their own tech. I'm not going to be using the, uh, somebody else's. But yeah, double D prison is just the right amount. Double bottomless. Um, I mean, yeah. I wish the ruling on this card was just remove that monster from play. This card would then be a little bit more broken. One Starlight Road. Get Stardust dragging out on the field because that is your weakness. And if they have Stardust, you use Starlight Road something. Boom. You got stars, blow it up. Pression. Uh, once again, this card is so broken at times. But at times, <coughs> like, I'm going against people where they've never touched my life points because of this card. I mean, they've never touched my life points, but I've, I've touched my own life points. Compulse. Um, great card. It stops pretty much any synchro. So it's kind of like that solemn warning for synchros. Solemn synchro. Alright, Mariforce and Torrential. I might be getting Gold Rare Torrential. And, um, I might be making a, uh, Machina, Karakuri, Quick Draw deck and all that. All that good stuff. Let's see how long am I at. I'm at seven minutes, alright. So, I'm just gonna go through my binder real quick. Just real quick. Not running my, um, whatchamacallit anymore. Uh, Black Wings because I don't have my two dark referee yet, but once I get those, I might run Vayu Tyro. So yeah, if you got if you have any questions, just ask me. These are just three cards. Everybody likes to run in Gravekeepers for some reason. I don't know why. Triple Icarus. I was gonna. Add, I I don't know my fourth Icarus is. I remember I pulled another, I pulled four from my Gold series, like four of my Gold series boxes. And out of all of them, I didn't even pull Thunder King. I usually traded all my... I traded all the ones I didn't want. It's not a very good trade binder. Um, I went to regionals, and... Somebody stole my binder, so I had to start from scratch with all my old hollows and all that horrible stuff. If you guys were wondering why I had horrible stuff from before. Like, this card is valued, I think, at like six bucks. And that's probably my... The card that wor is most is worth the most in this. I found a um, tech choice. I don't know if you guys can see it. Dark Crusader. He's pretty awesome. You know, what, let me just do something. Dark Crusader. He's pretty awesome because he's kind of like the Armageddon Knight, but only for your hand. So he's pretty good. Garsum, Jin. I mean, it's really all trash until I buy more packs. Oh, um, I do have the show and jump, but it's in my, my, uh, deck box. I don't know why it's in there, but I might get, I'm probably trading it in really bad synchros. Uh, I have that, so that's pretty good. Ultra rare. Pulled that from the U USA 3. Or I'm so glad that, um, I didn't put the Inferno Mirage in my other, in the other binder. Really happy. Um, just colored black wings. I have more. 
Um, you guys need to know what the sum cards are, just PM me. Call the Haunt is a pretty good card this format. Consecrated just down the hill now. Uh, double Assailant if anybody needs any. Blue Eyes, uh, I don't know. This is a uh, starter type of evolution, I think. Oh, um, and on this ultra rare, uh, right leg, there's a scratch right there, big one actually.